Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to just go ahead and uh, briefly go over the Breach and Legacy uh, kind of mechanics and what they're going to go ahead and do with them in 3.0 and in the beta since these are kind of like, well, Breach being pretty much like the number one uh, kind of like favorite league that's been going on since we kind of had like the entire Breach League and then League Stone was basically Breach plus all the other stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right on into it. And this is important because this covers Legacy, which is the league we're in right now as well. So at the end of Breach League, we discussed that we didn't need to work out on what we were doing with Breach immediately due to the nature of the next league, Legacy. In Legacy, players had access to past leagues and Breach was one of the most popular, uh, po popular options. I'm about to say opinions for some fucking reason. Breach offers a change in gameplay and its rewards add a lot to the Path of Exile play experience. So this would be basically... Uh, great loot, fast XP, power leveling through uh, basically League Stone, well not League Stones, but through like, uh, what is it, the um, running the bosses and the breaches, the Breach Stones, there we go. And um, just a bunch of build diversity really with adding like all the Zoff uniques, there's like one dedicated to bows, one dedicated to essentially like running Avatar of Fire, then you have Hand of Wisdom in Action, which is actually getting nerfed I believe, then there's Choir of the Storm, uh, you have like Surrender from Ulnatal, then you have uh, all of the fucking chaos ones, so like Presence of Cheyula would be one. Uh, and then there's the anime weapon one, which is from the chaos as well. And there's still some other ones as well that I haven't really went over. So Breach is, is pretty impactful to the game. Anyway though, while we know uh, Breach resonates with our players, it is one of the more intrusive leagues we've run. This was an intentional part of the design, but it makes it problematic for us to add freely into the leveling process on a permanent basis. From 3.0 and onwards, we will not have difficulties, so we have to carefully consider whether mechanics like Breach are worth the disruption they cause to the leveling experience. We will therefore add Breach to maps, but not to main leveling content. Breaches will have a 10% chance to occur in maps by default. We will also add a Sextant mod available at all tiers that grants at least one Breach will occur, which is pretty neat. Breach comes with a number of unique items that fill various roles and builds. We are happy with most of these, though we will not be making some adjust although we will be making some adjustments to the hand of wisdom and action and the hand of thought and motion that leads to it. The added lightning damage of these weapons will no longer be global and will instead only apply to each specific weapon. So I'm pretty sure that destroys the build, but I could totally be wrong because I don't play this build. The values of the flat lightning will also be increased given their new restrictions to 1 to 5 lightning damage to attacks per 10 intel with this weapon on hand of thought and motion and 1 to 10 lightning damage added to attacks per 10 intelligence with this weapon on hand of wisdom and action. Breach has been a significant element of these last challenge leaks so we are happy to be or happy to add this system to maps. Uh, and here's the more important one, Legacy. The Legacy League succeeded in being an excellent celebration of challenge leagues of the past. Players enjoyed the, over, or the control over their experience of the game. Players were able to participate in old leagues and in particular play their favorite or play their past favorites. Uh, this also gave players much easier access to league specific uniques. There were a few elements that worked uh, less well with Legacy League. There was difficulty in properly communicating how to engage with the system. And after players had learned how, they had to put considerate, uh, considerable effort into maintaining three league stones and not accidentally using them where they didn't mean to. This was like a big one where basically like, say for example, you put your league stones in and you ran some maps and you had a prophecy and you're like, oh, let me go do my prophecy. And then you just summoned your league stones in a random area. Or say you wanted to go to, uh, what is it, Siosa, I think he is, in the library to go buy a gem and you had league stones active, you just ripped your league stones. Um, let's see. Zana, the normal way players engage with in past leagues, had too much overlap with Legacy League and needed to be changed to not provide the same access. So what they did this time around is they basically pulled off pretty much all the Zana mods they had before, uh, with the exception of Beyond, I believe, and maybe one or two other ones, and put in like a bunch of random crap that I guess didn't really work out very well. So since they're going to be removing League Stones, they're going to put the Zana, the old Zana maps, Zana map mods back on, which basically was like exactly what League Stones do, Invasion, Nemesis, uh, Tempest, etc. So this left us with limited options and that was implemented for Zana in 2.6 since it wasn't received well. While we look forward to using Legacy again at some point in the future, we will not be adding it to the core game at this time, which I am so fucking happy for. Um, we feel it provides too much overhead for newer players and it is something we'd like to reserve for special occasions. League Stones will therefore not function in normal leagues and will no longer drop. 
At the beginning of 3.0, Zana will once again provide access to past leagues. So the reason why I'm very happy about this specifically is because League Stones have five charges. Some League Stones, I think, have one charge or like four charges. Some League Stones have like seven slash eight charges. Sextants roll every three and maps need to be rolled individually. So you roll five maps, right? During the time of you running your five maps for your five Breach Stones, or sorry, your five League Stones, you need to reapply your sextants because you can only have three sextants on it. Well, your sextants only have three charges. So it just, it, it gets it kind of awkward because, you know, all of us sometimes when we want to grind 150 maps in a day, we'll roll, you know, 30 maps at a time and try to get it. Okay, so I'm going to run this and then boom, this and then boom. But by trying to rotate League Stones with sextants, it just gets, it's unnecessary. And sure, it may only take a couple seconds here or there, but a couple seconds every couple minutes adds up very, very fast and just becomes kind of irritating, especially with the whole sorting thing. You have to sort it by certain item level and when you're trying to buy it on PoE trade, it has to be like item level 66 plus or else it's technically not no level requirement. And it's just a whole bunch of silly nonsense that just really shouldn't be implemented at this current time, especially with trading still being worked on. Uh, reliquary keys, which provide access to legacy unique items will continue to function after the transfer to standard and hardcore, but will no longer drop. We were happy to be able to provide access to these items as the last hurrah in a nostalgia based league, but in 3.0 we will be looking forward and will not be offering these legacy items again. We may make use of the foiling effect or reliquary key like system that drops different uniques in the future. We are glad our players enjoyed the legacy league, I don't think we enjoyed the expansion to or the, uh, but not the expansion, the extension, but it's okay GGG, we still love you. Um, and greater number ever than before. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about these changes as well. I'm personally super stoked for it. My only concern still is Breach, I think, is like really aggressive as a, as a mechanic. And I love Breach, don't get me wrong. I hit level 100 in Breach, right? It's just I feel like when you create a build these days, Breach can be pretty mean, especially if you're running with like Onslaught and some other stuff. Um, Sometimes you just get completely swarmed and new players don't really have the best of builds So I think it still might be a little off-putting, but it's only 10% chance to spot on the map anyway So it's not like it's gonna be that crazy um, But yeah, I'm just I'm still a little scared that players are gonna just get completely destroyed by breaches and uh, Maybe it may interrupt their I don't know their leveling experience in maps and just they might not want to do it So hopefully that's not the case. I don't think it will be because you, you don't really have league stones anymore so usually League Stones is what made them really scary. Now it's just going to be the map mods. You can't really run like a fucking 15 times Onslaught map. So anyway, though, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts down below as well. Um, again, that's pretty much about it. Remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. And I hope to see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.